So money's calling my name once again. A turn of mine got itself a new update with boundless riches to have. So of course we throw on the auto miner and get ourselves a ton of money. I do believe they're pretty dang expensive. Break you blue little blocks, just break. Ooh, and I found a small token bag. Pop that open for 300 of them. That'll be handy for my upgrades here in a minute. Sold all my blocks for 25 grand. Let's get out of here and get ourselves juiced up. Like this one where I have a very small chance to obtain an ore mineral. Give me just like 10 times and then we'll buy valuable blocks that way everything sells for a lot more and i don't know faster chop larger backpack a slammer and it looks like to even get one geode i will be needing a million gold good thing this gentleman here at the shop has a bunch of free things for me gold gold tokens tokens and i'm going to mine in because i should be able to break blocks just a little bit quicker here actually you know what not quick enough back to the starting mine this is much better it lets me blow up my bombs and stuff here and i maybe get one of those gem thingies off this that would be nice he said, also, I'd be extremely lucky. Looks like my answer is no. And my backpack's full. So I think what I can do is actually head all the way over here to the right where there is a very ominous looking altar and I'm going to touch it. I can buy things like sells 2.5% of my backpack every 10 seconds. Make it where breaking a block deals a small amount of damage to the surrounding ones. 1% chance to instant break blocks and increase the proc chance by 1% for every power I have. Also receive two gems every time a mine's nuked. Yes, these things add up. Well, let's see how it goes now. I'm seeing the damage around the blocks already. You can really just start mining through everything at this rate. Not to mention the auto sell is just an incredibly handy feature. Oh wait, I've got raw gold now? Where do I refine that stuff at? And how much profit do I get when I do it? And I've leveled up. I got another little ox tongue thing. Reset the mine. My backpack's full and I just got 50 grand for it. It's some money and tokens and I will be immediately spending these tongues. Looking at where breaking a block deals a moderate amount of damage to the surrounding seems helpful. And Whoa, pets? What does this do? They're not unlocked yet. All right, time to find out a way to not be alone. Right after I open up a quick little bronze treasure chest for 25 throwing stars. Thanks, game. Also, if you just dump into faster chops, I think I don't even need an auto clicker. I think the game just gives me one for free. Oh, and there's an impossible dark cave open. All right, I'll try it. Just keep mining like crazy. Wait, hit this guy back. Wait, hit my auto clicker on it. Back, back, foul beast. Twitch throwing little red orbs at me. It's not nice and I don't really have that much health. That's fine, just steal their stuff. Steal their stuff and we go. It just auto sold for 128,000 gold. That's insane. This is the ultimate get rich quick scheme, even though my life might end prematurely. Big sword, get him, go away. I can get like $300 every time I kill one of these things. That's actually not half bad. I think I get way more money whenever I just collect a bunch of ore though. Oh, and I got like a little diamond geode thing. We're good, everything's good. I got a token bag, pop it. It's like 300 for free. Thanks. Can I find a pet in here somewhere? That would be cool. Come on, there's only two seconds left. Give me at least one more ore game. Something sweet. No? All right. Well, I do have raw tourmaline, diamond, and gold. Maybe I can get some profit out of that. 20% success, 80% chance to fail. Why would I like ever risk that? Also, pink quartz geode. Now, what does this do? Wait, keep clicking. All right, break out the auto clicker. It takes a lot. Oh, I got a platinum treasure key. Wait, I got three of them and then a diamond treasure key? So by refining geode, I can open up insanely rare loot boxes for stuff. Yep, crack open all three of these puppies, please. Thank you. One more good spin. Don't mind if I do a lively dungeon key. I could have gotten 10 nuke orbs, though. All right, how many gems did I... 20 diamond gems. In that case, buy another quest slot, which weird how similar these are. And I'm going to buy the poison blade for a little bit. And then a couple into diamond blade for a higher loot multiplier. Because I can go to lively land. And it is dark in here. What do I need to do? Kill 40 weird little creepy gremlin guys. Okay, where are they at? Oh, right here. Back. Go away. I don't like you. Oh, I get like $1,500 every time I kill one of these things. I'm also not even using my auto clicker. This is just how fast I swing now. And he, oh, he dropped me a little treasure chest. What do you do, buddy? I received an alchemist bundle and a diamond treasure key. Wow. The best loot has always been in the murder industry. Huh? Throwing star. Get throwing star up the whole bunch, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. And just keep opening all these little goodies. I'm getting a ton of stuff. I just got 150 grand. I knew upgrading my loot multiplier would come in handy. Where is a pet though. Oh hey, I'm also almost at the 40 gold. Just gotta kill three more. Oh, and what do you know? A bunch of volunteers just popped up. Thanks guys. The large landmaster is aware. Oh my geez, D is large. You weren't lying. Okay, well quick, drink all these potions. One of them has to be strength. Oh yes, it was. Beat him down. Beat him down. We got him. Just don't let him get close, whatever we do. I do want his loot though. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Yes, killed him. He just gave me six million gold 
And I leveled up? So much has happened in such a short little time. What does this do? Oh, I got a Christmas pickaxe. <laughs> and a large token bag. Well, I'll put on my lively pickaxe skin. Run my tiny human feet all the way down here. Can I buy another recipe slot then? Yes, I can. And did this work? I think. Just start making geodes. What's the worst that happens? I'll find one of you one day. Right after I open up another one of these platinum treasure crates, I hope. I just got two platinum keys out of it. I mean, I guess that works. Okay, spin again. One large token bag. Sweet. Can I get those new corbs though, game? That kind of caught my eye last time. Oh, or money. That worked. Tokens. Money, money, money. And now, yeah. Okay, making my pickaxe hit as fast as it does was most definitely the right option. Look at this. Just to eviscerate entire mines. And I cleared out an entire mine now. Wow, these are just so insane. So what happens if I buy mine Q? This cost me a million gold to come here. I don't really mine it near as fast as all the gold ones. But I do think these ores are worth a lot more. Plus, they're orange. Full bag sells for just under 100,000. Honestly, not bad at all. Although, I think I can do some upgrades to make it better. Hey, buddy, are you done with these? Looks like. Well, I think what I want to do is buy two more quartz geodes. And I guess just give him some more gold stuff. And now let's open these up again. Come on, auto click, please. That is just explosive. Two platinum treasure keys. Well, sweet. Next, something cool, fun, and fresh. I'm hoping. Large token bag, large money bag, and large gem bag. Whoa! Yeah, I will accept these. Thank you very much. And now I've got a bunch of keys I can open, like the one that gave me two basic mystery gifts, a thousand gold. Moving on to the gold treasure key. Something cool here. Ideally, game. I'll take some gems. I have three diamond treasure keys, which gave me a mystery gift. And then something cool. Oh, an alchemist bundle. And our third one ends up being a medium gem bag. But now time for our two platinums, which another alchemist bundle, and we're looking for new corbs game, please. Or I'll take large token bag. Time to open up all of our goodies. That gave me 42,000 tokens. It gave me a bunch of large potions. And then I can open up the rest. However, I got a diamond treasure key. I'm just, I'm in an infinite loop of getting free things. Medium gem bag, done. With my 50 gems, I'm just gonna buy another quest slot because these also give me free keys. And let's spend a million gold to head on over to mine R, which is just a bunch of the orange little blocks. All right. We can just absolutely devour all of these. And my backpack's full, but I've got these cell orbs, which let me just break it all. So it looks like for a full backpack, I can just get a hundred grand here. I must say that is pretty nice. Now there is one upgrade that I want to get that I think is just psychotically game changing. And I just need like 30,000 more tokens for it, I think. So we can reset the mine and I'll just do this till I'm there because I am flying up in that department. Department. Oh, and what do you know? I just leveled up. And after completely clearing out the mine again, I can head back to this nice little guy who's going to take my 256 pickaxe damage and make it 512. Nice. And now I break, well, this mine like it's quite literally nothing. This is just, wow. Sorry, weird tiny little blocks. You guys never really stood a chance, huh? In that case, might as well just come back and buy 10 upgrades in everything I can. Nuker, bomber, hardly nowhere. It all works. Because now I can get the upgrade that breaking a block will deal a great amount of damage to the surrounding ones, meaning it just got even easier to clear out entire mines again. Also, that quest is done. Let me open up my bronze treasure. Ideally, something cool. Small money bag. I'll take it. All right, let's just go all the way to mine U, which is just green and purple blocks that I don't know what they are, but I feel like that's all right. How much do I get off selling a full backpack of these? 143 grand. And it takes like no time at all. Just look at that. It's a magic eraser where my cursor is. And then a bomb. Well, I've got a lot of tokens again at 100 70 grand it's worth it to go into nuker and bomber a few times and then just buy mine v which is all green here oh my gosh but i'm hitting so many times so quickly that even though bombs are like a 1.3 percent chance usually whenever i'm just absolutely shredding through the mine i can pull two three of them maybe even four just something like that oh and i just also sold my whole backpack for 150 grand it's gonna start adding up real quick and a level up to 12 man lucky me but i kind of just zoned out for like four minutes and now I'm able to make blocks worth 50% more gold and add another 1.25% chance that I drop a bomb in the mine. All right, start some new recipes and buy my last two geodes, which took a lot of money. It's fine. Just crack this baby open. Oh my gosh, use my auto clicker. That takes way too long. <laughs> what is a limitless sigil? Hello? And a large token bag. Fun. All right, crack open my next one. Something cool game, ideally. Another large token bag and a platinum treasure key. Game. Nuke orbs, please. I've been begging. That's an egg? 
realized that I would hiking my pets here. Man, I wish I would have known that. What's this limitless sigil do also? Whoa, hello. Wait a second. So things like long arms are max, but I think that by using the limitless sigil, now I could increase my range even more. So now I'm reaching quite a ways down the mine. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And wow, getting that bomb upgrade sure is clearing this stuff out. 230 grand now? I just added an extra 100 grand onto every time I sold something. And another level up. The day just keeps getting better and better. So I bump my way into the next mine where there's just funfetti as ore. However, after zoning out for about 48 minutes, I've saved up... Well, a lot of things. So let me quickly make one more trip down in the mine so I can hit this nice little level up all the way to 16. Thank you, game. I also saved up a bunch of coin bags and some more token ones too. And so now for 1.31 million, I do a thousand damage to every block I hit and make blocks give me more tokens. That's a great idea. Also, I have four quest slots and I did get a couple of keys while I was mining. Really one gem. So my pickaxe is now mega juiced and I still have five cow tongues so I can increase the proc chance of all my powers by 2.5% and then well 5% and then 10% and just get my slam going. Now let's go test out my new toy. All the way to mine X. The X is for exemplary amount of ores in this. Oh my gosh. All right, ready, set, go. Wow, that's, this is instantaneous. I am just clearing a path like no other. What is this? And I've just dropped four bombs and five bombs in a row. Sell all of it for 300 grand. Wow, I could uh, certainly get used to this amount of efficiency. And I just knew the mine. It's official. I'm broken. 